Time management refers to the ability to prioritise commitments and schedule them with enough time to complete everything satisfactorily. In order to do this, one must have both a clear concept of time as well as an ability to accurately gauge how long things will take. In your exam at the end of the year, you may have a short answer question worth three marks. Your exam is designed that you would probably have about three minutes to complete that three mark question. Have you practiced under time conditions? Time management also requires a person to take into account all of the unexpected things that can interfere with even the most carefully planned schedules. For a student, this means learning to estimate how long his homework and other commitments take, and learning to take sick days, quizzes and long-term assignments into account so that he has enough of a cushion to complete his work. A reason students are struggling more now is that they've grown up in the age of the digital clock. Students today see time as static numbers displayed on VCRs, microwaves and alarm clocks instead of as a moving hands on analog clocks. Time appears on digital clock as a statement of now. It says nothing about the past or future and it doesn't place the present time in the context of the hour or the day. When time has no context, it has no appreciable meaning. Conversely, an analogue clock with numbered face and moving hands shows the present time in relation to the past and future, before the hour and the after, before the hour and after the hour, and is broken into increments, hours, minutes and seconds, that work together to create a whole picture. The difference has a huge impact on how students perceive time and on their ability to locate themselves within it. At the exam at the end of the year, an analogue clock an analog clock is placed in your exam room to assist you in doing your exam and managing your time. What makes teaching time management particularly challenging is the fact that it is difficult, if not impossible, to identify a student who is struggling with it. When a parent or teacher sees a student having trouble with maths, steps can be taken to accommodate or remediate him. Students who don't understand time, however, are usually overlooked and don't get the help they need. All through school they have difficulty meeting deadlines and completing their work. They are constantly rushing, often late and frequently unprepared. As adults they continue to experience the same challenges but now with far greater consequences since careers often hang in the balance. Their lack of time management skills often means they have difficulty meeting deadlines because they don't have account for interruption interruptions or properly gauge how long things are going to take. They can't get to work on time, they forget appointments and they can often be found rushing from one activity to the next. Without an understanding of time and how time and how to manage it, success in school and in the workplace can be a fruitless and frustrating pursuit. Once the issue is identified however it can be addressed and students and adults, adults alike can re reconstruct their perceptions of an approach to time.